your orbit where you slow down. This is just a crazy thing, right? So there's new orbit. It says do new orbit. Then I couldn't help but try to make like an Apollo mission because I, I was intrigued by the movie Apollo 13. So I'm hitting the escape key. And here's Apollo. And this thing really sucks, but there it is, okay? Time increment. And for the Apollo mission, it says run, make it like 0.1 to 0.3. I'm going to make it 0.1, 0.1. So again, this one's like a different time increment. If you type 30 in there, it'll draw this crazy like moiré pattern across the screen. And you can play with that, and it's kind of psychedelic. But I'm going to do 0.1. <laughs> okay. And there we are. There's the Earth. Here's the moon. The moon is obliging us, is obliging us by not moving. When they actually did go to the moon, the moon was moving merrily along its path. right? And they had to aim for it. They had to lead it, kind of like a grouse. right? They had to lead it and shoot for where it was going to be in like three or four days, I think is what it is. Yes, they did. So they got into orbit around Earth first, and then they slingshot. And I believe it takes seven S's to get ourselves there. And you start firing right here. There we go. So they slingshot them. And that's the, the third stage of the, of the Saturn V would fling them out. And then at this point, they didn't need it, so they actually jettisoned it, grabbed the lunar module off of it. And we're going to land around that. Yeah, so we're going to actually slingshot here. We do need a course correction. And... It's the arrow keys, is it? Yeah, we're going to have to do a little course correction here. I don't think they had this luxury, but maybe they did. Right? So they're there. It's like, oops. Yeah. So when they say Sir Isaac Newton at the helm, Tom Hanks' line in Apollo 13, that's what they mean. It's just, it's just the rocket ships don't have the engines going all the time. Right? And now to get in orbit around this, what do we do? We've got to slow ourselves down so we fall into that little thing there. So I'm going to hit the R. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Here we are. We're orbiting. So now you're orbiting the moon. Your spaceship has two parts. It's got the lunar excursion module. It's got the command module. The, lun the command module with the person in it remains in orbit around the moon at the same elevation. And the lunar excursion module blasts off, lands on the surface of the moon. They walk, they play golf, they drive a car, for God's sake, right? They collect sa samples of the rock. Then that thing takes off. It leaves its little feet behind, right? It takes off from the surface of the moon. It redocks with this thing, so there's a little timing involved there, yes? Right? And then they head home. Are we ready to head home? The S key. I don't know. I'm going to try, try, try seven of those. I don't know. Seven got us here, so maybe seven will get us home. I don't know. There we go. And they did the same thing. They did this trajectory, so they made like a little figure eight. You're aiming to this side of the Earth. It's bad form to aim right at a planet if you're trying to orbit it. Right? That's like walking straight at somebody who's using their cell phone in the hall. It's kind of fun, but it's not, you know, it's not how you orbit them, right? Yeah. Do you ever do that? Just walk straight at them, and then eventually they have to like... Now, to get around orbit around the Earth, what do I have to do? Slow down. Retro rockets coming here. We're home. Except here, they didn't orbit the Earth. They just actually went into the Earth, and this was crucial if they... They came in too steep, like they, they hit the Earth too head on, right? They actually would burn up. They'd encounter too much atmosphere too fast. The heat shield couldn't handle it, and they'd just get cooked, right? Um, <coughs> if they hit it too at a glancing blow, it was actually possible to skip them like a stone off the pond, right? And then they'd be gone in space. I mean, there was no, there was no sense that we would, like, send another spaceship after them. It was just like, bye-bye. We're sorry. Okay. Um, and so they had to hit it at exactly that right angle, and so... It was tiny. Didn't they give some analogy like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. From 100 yards away or something like that. Yeah. All right. The fuel... The fuel in that simulation class, if you run out of fuel, it just goes negative. That's sort of sad. It's like Minesweeper. It counts down to zero and then... Yeah. Or counts up, doesn't it? Which way does it count? I can't remember. Okay, more games for you to play. You don't have to do all these. On the sheet, all I want you to try is orbit, new orbit, and Apollo mission. It says it on the sheet. These are just things you could try if you're feeling bored. Okay? Um, so, greetings, Commander. Basically, you're trying to dock with a space station. I think this one, this one is, um, I'm going to try 30, I don't know. Okay. 
And then it's the arrow keys on the number pad, so you have to hit number lock, right? You have to turn the number lock on, right? And now I think my arrow keys do this, so it's different controls. Let's see if it works. Yeah, there it is, right? I can also speed myself up. Speed up. Oh, dear. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, I'm gone. <laughs> Let's start over again. Oh, what's start over is uh, Z. No, here we go. Speeding up. Now, if you speed up and come in too hot, they shoot you. Boom! <laughs> okay, so you got to actually come in really slow and get really close to them, right? I know, ship destroyed, exclamation point, right? Okay, so this one, you can't just, you can't just like intersect with them. You have to come up behind them and just kind of nuzzle them, and then eventually you, you would dock, and then if you hit the U key, it undocks you and kind of spits you out the back, right? And I'll let you play around with that. I'm going to quit, that's Q, right? Okay, so there's that one, and then the final one is uh, New Rebel. New is just where I corrected the aspect ratio. For years, these things had like a, the, the circles were like, like oval because of the aspect ratio, the, but I corrected for that. I don't know why I didn't in the original version. Okay, so time increment again, this is another 30 type thing. Here's the Death Star, here you are. Um, you now have torpedoes. The torpedoes also are curved by the curvature of space-time, um, so they'll, they'll follow an orbital trajectory. Um, and you hit the space bar to launch a torpedo, hit it again to detonate the torpedo. So if you do it quick two times in succession, you'll blow yourself up. I added that feature, you know. But here, anyway, here it is, and the, the notion is conventionally that we would go like this. And I missed him. Okay, let's try it again here. These are uh, conventional nuclear missiles. Got to wait a little bit later, right? No. That's too late. I'm going to wait. I'm going to blow up the letters at the top of the screen. Watch this. <laughs> oh, no. How many? I've only got one torpedo. Nothing to blow up. Yeah. Okay. One last shot at him. One last shot. No. Got to wait. I gotta, it's got to be the right. The vibe. Now, I originally set this up so that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Okay. I originally set this up. I originally set this up because this is somewhat complex programming. You have to be able to spawn. These little things are each a process, and you have to be able to spawn little processes. And I set it up so you could just like keep firing up, right? And the simulation slowed down. And then the funny thing was, it was so deadly easy. To, if you could launch even five at a time, it was just so easy to to kill it, right? So let's um, let's start over. Somebody's getting a telephone call. Okay, there we are. Um, and let me just show you why you don't want to attack the Death Star head-on, okay? And that's because... He's got a cannon on him, Whoa. right? There you go, he's like blah, 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 right? Okay, um, so you don't want to do that, but let me just show you some tricks that you can do. You can, you can hit a self-destruct sequence, so self-destruct is the tilde. It's like, ooh. Right, it just counts down, and when it reaches zero, you blow up, right? You can, there's a cheat key. I can get more fuel. It's one of the keys on the keyboard. Right? It's a G. Okay, and then T transfers to the shields, right? And then you can just fly out there if you're good. I've, I don't have enough time here, I don't think, right? But if you're good, you can just kind of fly out and go greet the Death Star. He tries to blow you up, and... There go my shields, right? It's like, oh, here we go. But you can, if you have enough shields, you can actually fly in and do a suicide mission. You know? Yeah, oh yeah, a game I wrote, right? You can do a little suicide mission and blow him up. When he blows you up, he, he blows up, right? You know? What did somebody say? Cool beans. Anyway, um, there it is, and you don't have to do that at all. I wonder if I can still launch a torpedo. Here's a funny thing. Somebody discovered that if you launch a torpedo and then die and start over again, the torpedo's still there. And so what they do, you can try it. There's some trick, right? Like you launch a torpedo, wait till it intersects the orbital path and start over right then. The torpedo's there and not moving. And then you just wait until the guy gets there and then you blow it up. <laughs> That's called the hidden torpedo from the previous session of the game. So there's a bug in the program. Somebody found that. You can find, you could look for your own bugs. I wrote them quickly, not thoroughly.
If you download them and play them on your own computer, you got to take that little video.